Taylor Swift's ninth studio album has dropped, and of course, everything means something. So let's break down some of those Easter eggs. Bit of a real, I love me some Taylor Swift. Ever since she graced us with her presence, with her blonde spiral curls and her guitar, I've been a fan. What's up everyone, I'm Monty Bolanos with the latest on Taylor Swift's surprise album, Evermore. You know she loves her symbolism, so we're gonna crack the code best we can. If you're excited about this album like I am, make sure you give this video a like and don't forget to share it with all your fellow Taylor lovers. 2020 may have sucked, but it has at least given some of our favorite artists time to head to the studio to give us some much needed new music. Taylor Swift is one of those artists that has dropped a surprise album on us that no one is upset about. Her album titled Evermore is the sister album to Folklore, which she released in July. Taylor has not stopped working and we love her for that. She said that they couldn't stop writing songs and decided to wander deeper into the forest instead of looking at it as a one-off era like previous albums. So the first track on her album, Willow, which already came with the music video, picks up right where Cardigan left off. Taylor left us an Easter egg ahead of the music video when she posted a photo of herself walking towards the forest. In a recent interview, she said, Willow is about intrigue, desire, and the complexity that goes into wanting someone. Her track, Champagne Problems, that is not supposed to be bubbly, was co-written by her boyfriend, Joe Alwyn, which we recently found out was also a writer on her last album. Taylor tried telling us about her track, Tis the Damn Season, a few days ago on her Instagram story when she wrote that her outfit for her entertainment weekly photo shoot really screams, tis the damn season. Marjorie is track number 13, which is Taylor's lucky number, and it's dedicated to her grandmother, which is so sweet, because track number 13 on Folklore was dedicated to her grandfather. But my favorite track is Nobody, No Crime, which is a whodunit song she wrote completely by herself. It was inspired by her obsession with true crime podcasts and documentaries, which I can totally relate to. Snapped Marathon, anyone? No? Okay. The album dropped at midnight and fans are truly loving every little bit of it because Taylor just brings storytelling to a whole different level. Fans are so excited and tweeting their favorites like this user that said, Champagne Problems is one of the best songs Taylor Swift has ever written. Argue with the wall. <laughs> Others also noticed that Taylor really has put in work by saying, someone tell me when Taylor takes a break. For real though. And then there are those other Swifties that are trying to crack the code even more by saying, Taylor Swift is either engaged, married, pregnant, or both. Those dang Easter eggs. Unpopular opinion, but I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really like Folklore. I thought the tracks kind of blended together, so it was not my favorite Taylor album. But I really like Evermore. It's very similar, but I think it's a lot better. What's your favorite track so far on Evermore? And do you think there's more to uncover, like an engagement? All my Swifties out there, put those detective hats on and let me know what you think down below. Thanks for tuning in guys to chat about Taylor's latest album. I'm so happy it's Friday so I can listen to it all weekend while I watch Dateline and Snapped Obvi. Before you go off to do the same thing, make sure you like, share, and subscribe.